All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again. Y'all already know how I feel about The View, especially if you've been watching me for a while. Y'all know I do not like The View. I don't watch that crap. The only thing I do is I do these videos like this, like I said, because I like for y'all to see how ignorant these people be acting on The View. Like I said, I used to like Whoopi like when she was doing movies and stuff, but on this show, she is so freaking disrespectful. I mean, Whoopi is just straight disrespectful. She won't even call Donald Trump names. She always like to throw little phrases out there, uh, you know who. You know what I'm saying? She don't even want to say the man's name. But yet, they don't like Donald Trump so much, but they can't stop talking about him. You hate Donald Trump, but you talking about him every single day. Every single day. And then you even got Sonny Holston, who basically just told the whole world that her uh, family was slaveholders. And then she get and she up here opening up her mouth talking crap about Donald Trump. It just don't make sense. A lot of these people are just hypocrites. Your family was slaveholders. You just came out and just told everybody, but yet you want to talk bad about somebody else. So, you know, she already in hot water right now. Uh, but this one right here is coming from Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go check out Doug. He said that Sonny Hostin is out. The view humiliated by Tucker Carson. So it seems like now they putting Tucker Carson, they probably finna talk about him and his interview with Putin. I'm pretty sure that's what, the, uh, that's what they finna go ahead and talk about. But, you know, we like to listen to them, let them make a fool of themselves. But like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. If you do me a favor, please hit that like button. Watch the entire video so you two can share it and more people can see my reaction. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see them make a fool of themselves once again because you know they cannot stop talking about Donald Trump. But uh, let's go. Sonny Hostin is out of her mind. Strike three, you're out. <laughs> She, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. You'll see it at the end of this video where we're going with this. They try to go after Tucker Carlson. They end up completely discrediting themselves. This is all about Tucker Carlson's interview with Putin, mm, where he I actually is a journalist. And these ladies who are not journalists, they're barely entertainers, try to throw shade at him and it doesn't work. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. As we keep winning all the way with Trump to 2024 being the next president, where that's going to be the greatest The View episode of all, mm -hmm. is the day after the Trump election. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Just, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. The View takes hard left when Whoopi thinks of a great stripper name based on Tucker Carlson in video. This is gross, but... Stupid. Fuck up. Tucker Carlson gave a megaphone to one of America's biggest threats by posting his social media sit down with Russian President Vladimir Putin. And even Putin trashed the interview. <laughs> what kind of traitor would do such a thing? What kind of scuzz would give Putin a microphone? What kind of journalist would do that? She going to continue? The embarrassment just keeps piling on higher. Don't worry. Now, Putin went on to say he wants President Biden to stay in power because Biden's more predictable. Whoopi, you and Putin agree oh. that you're going to vote for Biden. I just want to go on the record. I would never vote for who Putin wants. Exactly. And Whoopi does. So did Tucker play right into Putin's hands? Well... I'm going to change my name. I just thought of a great stripper name. What? <laughs> what? 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 That came from Putin? Yes. No, yes. it came from Tucker. Tucker Putin. <laughs> okay, that is that funny? I missed it. That Tucker was crazy. Putin. I don't. Please welcome to the stage, Tucker Putin. <laughs> they, these, these ladies have writers. You got to be kidding Millions me. of dollars they spend on writers. And that's the best they could come up with is uh, a stripper name of Tucker Putin. Cringy. I think a better stripper name would be uh, 
Sonny Hostin or Joy Behar. Look, I, yeah. think, I think obviously Putin here is using reverse psychology, saying that he prefers Biden. We have all seen the relationship and, uh, that he has with Donald Trump. We've all seen Donald Trump uh, falling all over himself for years and years, even before being president, to kowtow to Putin and kind of get in his good graces. And I think that Putin, who's very smart and understands American psychology, sometimes I think better than Americans, Okay, now she's going into American psychology and what Putin really meant when he said that he was uh, for Biden. Notice she doesn't understand reverse psychology mm -hmm. when Trump said he's going to be dictator for a day, and they all flip out on that. Yeah. Imagine just for a second in your minds if Putin said he preferred Trump. Just imagine if in the interview, instead of saying he preferred Biden mm -hmm. or that he preferred Hillary, which we already know that too, what if Putin said he preferred Trump? What would this dingling be saying on The View right now? Would she be saying, oh, no, it's reverse psychology. He really wants Biden, right? See how this works? When uh, when the narrative goes against what these ladies want, yep. they claim he really means the opposite. It's reverse psychology. They just know it. Realizes that and that's exactly what would have happened. I was I was thinking the same thing, dude. Thinking I'm like, okay, what if Putin would have said he was for Trump, and then they'll be trashing Putin right now. See, this is what it's all about. They uh the, they attack people that supports Donald Trump. They know Tucker Carlson supports Donald Trump, so that's why they speak. They trying to speak bad about uh Tucker Carlson because he supports Trump. Anybody that supports Trump, this is what they do. Just like when Judge Janine was on the show, how Whoopi just attacked the woman and cussed her out. And Judge Janine did the right thing. She was yelling and cussing back at Whoopi because, like I said, she's a grown lady at the end of the day. You just, it's already bad that the view just let her do whatever she wants. And hold on. Ain't the owner of the view, I think her name, Barbara, Barbara something. I know I think her first name, Barbara. Did she interview Putin before? I'm trying to remember. I'm like, I have, I'm pretty sure she interviewed uh, Putin before. I could be wrong. But here's the thing. It's, the, it's just hypocrites. They don't call out one thing. They just want to call out Tucker. I guarantee you if Tucker didn't support Trump, I bet you she wouldn't be worried about that interview. But since Tucker supports Donald Trump, they're going to try to call him out. They're going to call out everybody around Trump that supports him. That's all they do is sit here on this show and slander Trump day in and day out. That's all. All they do. But wait till Trump get into office. I'm going to see how their face is going to be looking then. And if he says he prefers Trump, it'll be used against Trump, who is the guy that he actually wants. I'm almost following this. It's dizzying. I also have a Chris Wallace quote. Chris Wallace, Wallace slammed him, calling him an eager puppy. He said, Tucker Carlson showed up in Moscow this week to interview Vladimir Putin. It turned out to be anything but an interview Putin. Putin drew, uh, droned on for two hours and seven minutes while Tucker sat there like an eager puppy. Yeah, easy for Chris Wallace to say, who does whoa, not whoa, have whoa. the cojones to go and interview Putin. By the way, journalists who interview Putin, often they can end up in jail. Tucker could have been disappeared. You know, these people fall out of windows all the time in Russia. Tucker, he may not I mean, he's brave for going over there and he ought to be terrified when he goes over and interviews Putin. So first of all, he did his job like a real journalist. We're about to reference another real journalist. But first, Sonny's going to set it up right here. This is the big one, guys. The entire, it's just such a disgrace, I think, to our country that an American would give him any kind of platform to... Uh, Propagandize. What kind of jerk would give Putin? It's so anti American to give him any kind of a platform other than Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. Mm. Have any concern mm. that anthrax could be stolen? That's right. In 2001, she gave him a platform. So at the very least. See that? And see that? I, I knew it. You see what I'm saying? But see, that's the thing. They ain't going to call that out. They ain't going to call that out, but they going to call out Tucker Carlson, though. They going to sit there and call out Donald Trump. This is what they do. And like Doug say, I just love for them to just make fool of themselves. That's why I enjoy just doing these uh, videos uh, on The View because they always make a fool of themselves. They are so just anti-Trump, man. They just every single – I mean, I'm telling y'all, 
every single day they are talking about Donald Trump or either people around Donald Trump or people that support Donald Trump. I think I have another video I should be coming where Joy Behar got mad at some young college students for supporting Trump. This is what they do. They just sit on here day in and day out and just talking about Trump and everybody that supports them. That's all they do. And like I said, how can Sonny Hostess sit here and talk when she just found out her uh, family was slaveholders? Like, come on. What you talking about, Willis? Golly, I'm telling you, man. All this double talking. And anthrax could be stolen. That's right. In 2001, she gave him a platform. So at the very least, Tucker Carlson is on equal ground to Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. Hello, I'm Baba Wawa, and welcome to Baba Wawa at Wide. Thank you for making my point, Sonny Hostin, for proving you're a complete hypocrite, <laughs> yep. that you ought to be fired or embarrassed out of your job to ever show your ridiculous giant mouth again. All these ladies that are throwing shade on Tucker Carlson, all many of our great journalists have gone over and interviewed Putin. So how salute to Doug, man. That's what they be doing. They just hypocrites, man. They wanna they wanna just call it one way. That's what they do. They just wanna call it one way, but they don't wanna call the whole thing out when your own boss interviewed Putin. Your own boss. But now you wanna call out Tucker. Tucker's a journalist. So you're gonna try to call him out, but you ain't gonna call out your boss. <laughs> I'm telling you, these folks are just straight hypocrites, man. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. And uh, like I said, y'all be sure to hit that like button for me. And I catch y'all in the next one.